What is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and in today's video, we're going to be showing you guys the full release of the Aussie 4x4, well the new Aussie 4x4 map, uh, Outback. Now, this map is huge, I mean, you guys saw my preview videos of this map with, uh, with Aussie 4x4 himself, and you can see actually, it's got a few spawn locators on it at different outposts, um, and of course the rock area, you can go to this other garage over here if you want to, to jump across the map, which is super helpful. Uh, but I, I, I can tell you that he's done a lot uh, it, since he finalized this map. I don't know what all he did, but I know, like I said, he's done a lot. Um, I'm going to actually switch all the way over to the Toyota, because when, when, you're, when you're driving through the Outback, sometimes you just want a Toyota. Sometimes, And not saying, you know, not saying that the Jeep or the Dodge couldn't do just as well. But sometimes, sometimes it's nice to have a little, uh, a little Yoder Hilux. Um, oh god, there's a hell of a lot of stuff here. Put a light bar on. We can do, oh god, off-road bumpers. Well, one, two, three. What do the front ones look like? Two, and then, oh, big stinger. That's, yeah, we gotta have the big stinger. Cage, yes. Oh my god, yes. Okay. Um... BFG crawlers, I think, yeah, I'll go with the BFG crawlers, and then the BFG crawler spare, and our high lift jack, oh, we're gonna outfit this thing, dude, we have got to outfit this thing, sliders, oh, man, propane tanks, where's the propane tank, oh, sweet, oh, my god, all the customization, dude, all of it, your off-road toolbox, you can get everything on this truck, so now that our Toyota is fully outfitted, oh, quick question, does the, nah, it doesn't work, damn it, <laughs> I was curious to see if the light bar worked, but, I mean, either way, it's still an awesome truck, but I was just curious to see if the light bar worked, so, without any further ado, let's go ahead and set off into the final release version of uh, Aussie Outback. Now, you can find this map on Spin Tires NL, and there will be a link in the description below uh, to where you guys can check this map out. But, um, yeah, just go look in the description if you want to actually download this map and install it yourself, because it's it's a massive, massive map. I mean, this is as big as maps can be, pretty much. Like, this is, this is maxed out on size. And as you can see, or as I can tell already, um, he's fixed a lot of stuff on the road uh, that if you go back and watch the uh, the previous videos, on the road, there were a lot of little, there were a lot of little jagged edges and a lot of spots where your truck would kind of bounce or jump um, that were a little weird and kind of just unsettled the vehicle and made the map seem kind of funky. Uh, but in this version, th that's all gone. It's it's totally gone, and it helps so much in making the map feel, just making you feel a lot more at home driving around on the map. To be honest, now. Sometimes big maps can be a little bit daunting, but again, that's what that's what the spawn locators are there for to help it seem a lot less daunting and also to make it a lot more convenient because let's be honest, if you if you go you know, if if you have a massive map and you're going to set off, we're actually going to go down this way because I've never been down here before. Um if you have a massive massive map and you want to set off from the garage, you know, or if you want to try out one, like the other end of the map, well, if you start off at the garage, then it's like, well, too bad, you're gonna have to, like, go, you're gonna have to drive for, like, a half hour just to get to where you wanna, you know, just to get to where you wanna be, and, you know, some people don't wanna do that, some people don't have the time when they're playing the game to do that, they just wanna load up the game, boot up, and just try an area out, and that's what the spawn locators are there for. Now, if you wanna know how to use the spawn locators, um, I have a separate kind of thing on that, or, well, Basically, how you use spawn locators is you have to have them enabled in Spin Tires Plus. If you don't have them enabled in Spin Tires Plus, they will not show up. So that is something that, you, uh, that you'll have to look into. Uh, if you don't already have Spin Tires Plus, you need to get it. I mean, all of these, these new maps that are coming out now will pretty much not work properly if you don't have Spin Tires Plus. So, like I said, you may want to get your hands on it. Now, this trail is really cool. It kind of follows this cliff edge, although the only thing that I'm concerned about is it's going back to, uh, it's, well, okay, no, you know what? It goes, it loops around all over the place, and it kind of goes crazy. Let's try the rock area, just to see what it's like. Because I know we tried it, we tried it with, um, with the other vehicles. We tried it w in multiplayer with Ozzy himself, but the thing is, the thing is, the, like, when we tried it out then, it was kind of, like, it was kind of sketchy, there were a lot of rocks that were glitchy, and it was a really tricky map to use. Now, oh god, eh, 
Uh, the stinger glitched through the rock a little bit, but I'll, I'll, that's, that's no big deal. I'm gonna go left here, because I'm gonna try and take lines that I haven't taken before. Um, you know, te in testing this map out, I'm gonna try and take lines that I haven't taken before, because, to be honest, you know, why would you want to take the same lines over and over and over again? Unless, obviously, you're, you know, you're practicing for something, or it's, it's some sort of, like, you're trying to get good as, at a specific area. Check it tonight, and then change it back to the morning, so we have a full day-night cycle. Because when you start in the day, you know, it's eventually going to turn to night. I love having that dove tool there just to reset the night and day. So you don't have to mess with the clock. Come on. Come on, Toyota. There you go. Oh, yes. God, you can go pretty much wherever you want. That's why I love his rock crawling areas because they're so open-ended. And you can literally take any line you want. If you want to go up there to the right, you can. If you want to stay left, you guess what? You're good. Oh, my God. But I will say he's definitely done a lot of work with these rock sections because I haven't glitched a tire once. And I remember anybody that watched the videos that I did with Ozzy will know that we were glitching tires all over the place. Like we were seriously just glitching tires left and right. And that's not something you want to have happen all the time. It really isn't. But it really also goes to show the amount of work and dedication he put into this map because it's a lot, dude. Like look at these map sections. I'm going to go ahead and stick the truck in low three. So we never drop power, and I'm gonna see if we can get up any of these hills, like any of these, you know, gnarly, nasty rock hills, because let's face it, they're pretty crazy. Mm, I'm gonna also put it in automatic, because we're probably gonna need automatic mode in order to kind of move the truck around. Let's back up just a little. Oh, that's a little too much. Oh, it's going over. Okay, yep, it went over. Let's go, let's try outpost... Three, because I've never been over there. I was like, I've never been over here. I was worried for a second that the game was going to freeze. I was like, please no. Please no, because that's like the worst thing to have happen. Especially on a spawn locator, because if it happens on a spawn locator, it's bad. <laughs> it's bad if it happens on a spawn locator. Let me see. Time? Okay, yeah, we got a full day, like, full day cycle ahead of us. It's just getting, the weather is just changing. Okay, I was just curious as to why it was getting darker. I was like, eh, it's not supposed to get darker this quick. This is a really cool trail network over here. Oh, yeah, this is awesome. I do want to see, okay, so there's a slightly more difficult trail that goes over there to the left. Oh, this is... Oh god, that whole thing faces to one side, like it's all it's all off camber. This is gonna be, oh god, this is gonna be sketchy, but it's gonna be fun. It's Toyota, I love it, dude. It just hops its way right up everything. You can leave it in automatic, too. Spun's done a really good job programming the gearbox in this thing. Really good job. Props for that. Ooh, falling off the edge. Or close to it, anyway. Oh god, oh god, oh god, stay away from that side. And please avoid smashing into the tree. Please. <laughs> Ooh, that's close. Come on, come on, come on, come on, there we go. Up and over. Oh, dude! Okay, does the map end here? Okay, no. I was really worried the map was just gonna end here. That's a hell of a sharp turn for a trail, though. We could go straight, we could go... Oh, this is... This is nifty. You could go right, you could go straight, uh, straight, you could go left. You could go wherever you freaking want to. I'm gonna actually take this line, because I've never been down here before. There's so many areas of this map. I mean, you could spend hours here and probably not have the whole thing explored. Just because it's so... It's so massive, it's so wide. Everything is so, like, all over the place. Well, not all over the place, but, like, th there's just so much to do. There's so much to explore. It would literally take a hell of a long time to explore it all. Oh, jeez. How gnarly is this? It's... Oh, yeah, it's really bad. Backing up. <laughs> Never mind, I'm like, I'm not going in there without bigger tires. I need bigger tires before I venture into something like that. That's crazy. I'm trying to winch myself back around the stump. Alright, we're good. Come on. Oh, come on, Toyota, you can do better than- oh, all-wheel drives off. Yeah, that would- that would make it- that would make a difference. That would really help, I think. <laughs> that would really help, okay. 
But I think also, too, this map gives you a really nice sense of wilderness, like just being in the middle of nowhere, uh, which... Depending on the map, like, some maps give you a good sense of that, and some maps just don't, and this map is up there with the best of them in terms of, like, that wilderness feeling, uh, that feeling of, um, kind of almost getting lost in a good way, if that makes any sense. Like, that, off-road guys will know what I'm talking about when I say getting lost in a good way. Getting lost in an, in an adventuresome way, you know what I mean? It's one of those maps that's especially really cool if you've never been on it before, because there's, like... Like, you find a spot like this. Like, look at that. Like, you just want to go and see if you can climb it, right? You just want to go and see if your truck can make it up. And that's the best That's the best feeling. That's the best feeling when you're exploring areas. And look, you go up that way. You could go up that way. You could go whichever way you wanted. Personally, I'm going to go straight. And see if we can do this in automatic mode. Nope. I mean, we could, but I wanted to see if we could do it in automatic mode without stopping, which is really hard to do. Come on, there you go. Got through the bush, and now if we can just make our way ooh, to the right. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. I know this thing can do it. I know it, can, it just needs a better line. Either a better line or high range. One of those will <laughs> one of those will get us up this hill. I'm gonna try I'm gonna try high and see what happens. I don't know if we can get it into high going up a hill like this, but if we can get, if this'll get into second. If I can make this get into second, you know what? I'm just gonna back all the way down. And let the auto shift into second, then bump it to high, because I know it held second for most of the hill. We may not even need to let it get into second before we bump it to high. We can probably put it in high right here and let it go. Okay, cool. Jumps it up. Ooh, iffy. There she goes. That's further than we've gotten before. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, yeah. Just bounces right up. All right, awesome. So now we can just stick it back in automatic mode and keep on cruising up the hill. So that that's, that's one of the nice things about this map. And that's what he also... He was telling me about how he he likes to make maps where you have to use a bit of, you know, you can use automatic if you want in some spots, but there's areas where you'll have to use low range or have to use high range and and it, it, that that helps the uh, that helps the difficulty factor, but it also helps the like the the usability and it helps the uh, like the creativity of how you have to drive to make it through the map. And I think it's a really nice bonus when you know that you have to switch up your driving style, you have to switch up gear ratios, you have to think like a real off roader, and that makes the map that makes the map fun. It makes it entertaining. It makes it a great map. So I highly, highly, highly recommend this map to anybody that wants to download it. The link will be in the description box below. If you did enjoy this video don't forget to leave me a like tell me in the comments below what you guys thought of it and if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe for more and i'll see you guys next time